pastor recited Bible verses while allegedly sexually assaulting underage girl. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Cesar Guri what's his name? Guriro? Guerrero? How do you say Cesar Cesar Guerrero? Guerrero of a church of church in Sharnville was arrested after where was this? This is Ohio, right? Yeah. Um he was arrested after he was accused of assaulting a 17-year-old girl who came to him to talk about her previous abuse. Oh my god, the girl was previously abused. So he goes to this pastor for help and then he gets abused by the pastor. Like it. Uh, so he ultimately admitted that he wait, so if he admitted, why why does the title say allegedly? That's weird. Okay, so he ultimately admitted that he used his position as a divine figure to for to further under traumatize the child. Um, an affidavit, uh, wait, affidavit stated Guerrero is prophet of God and as the pastor of his church, used that information to influence juvenile. In, uh, a juvenile into believing she needed to be cleansed from being molested as a child, Guerrero, Guerrero, uh, then arranged to meet the juvenile alone in his office on July 30th, according to court documents. Guerrero used the Bible, used Bible scripture and prayers to cleanse the juvenile while he assaulted her. Uh, court documents stated this goes back to what we were saying before like these are trust the trust that p these pastors or these religious leaders the, the community gives them just creates perfect environment for them to uh, ab groom and abuse children but do you know how yeah go on Shopping, you want to say something yeah I uh, first I think it said allegedly because I mean in this case, uh, this particular case, he admitted to it, but there are several other allegations of sexual molestations against him. You know, uh, sometimes we wonder, like, how, why would this, why are these people such idiots? Like, how do they not know that they can't get away with it? But the thing is that they do get away with it. A lot of, most of them do get away with it. These are just the rare ones that you see that they didn't get, get away with it. Like, the, the environment that they have created and the trust that people have for them including their own victims if you see this see the the way they have set it up it's hard a lot of times it's hard for them to imagine that they're not gonna get get away with it right and again you only hear about the ones that people didn't get away with like but also i'm really feeling sorry for that poor girl because she was sexually molested once and then she yeah. came to him for and he sexually molested her again right i mean this this kind of cases lead to suicides and everything yeah that's very sad it's really fucked up and again this is why when people say like well at least religion gives you community and support the thing is that these these people even the ones that are not child molesters like this guy uh, or rapists they have no qualifications to to deal with victims or people that are going through trauma if religion was not there if religion doesn't have a monopoly over community or these kind uh, these kind of services it would have been replaced with people that were more qualified to address your needs right so whatever like yeah there are some needs that we have like community like support like sense of belonging sense of significance that religion pretends to pro, uh, respond to and people say well the, we have these needs so we have religion but no but if you take away religion they will be re they will be replaced with better things it's not like it's not going to get met religion has an unfair advantage a monopoly over in the market when it comes to addressing and then this is what happens unqualified people anyways i'm gonna stop um if you want to add anything to that let me see what tom comment is um wait why was he reciting it while he was abusing her that's really freaky like it? i think i think that was a psychological tactic like he wanted the girl to think that she was being cleansed by using the bible passages while he was having his way with her that is fucked up in so i mean many that's 
Yeah. I, I have heard of this sex, uh, I mean psychological tactics, but this right. is this is really fucked. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.